Between two ideas I'm thinking of now, and I would love really to use my time with you. One of the pain, mm -hmm. how to deal with real problems of pain, especially with what happened this summer, the war in Gaza, mm -hmm. what happened to uh, the Christians of Iraq and Mosul get kicked out from their cities, their churches. Right. And that's for my region. And uh, Libya, it's taking fire, people getting killed every day by hundreds in the Middle East and North Africa. What so-called Arab Spring taking place turned to a nightmare in many ways. Where's Jesus mm. in the middle of all this? Mm. And where's the Christian and where's the church? Yeah. What role can you see? Yeah. I would say first that God is always on the side of the one suffering. It's easy to think when something bad happens, God is against me, God is punishing me. But if, you, if we take our clues as Christians from Jesus, and if you wonder how God feels about the people who are going through difficult times, just follow Jesus around and see how he responds to a widow mm. <laughs> who lost her only son. And as, as Christians, we believe that, that Jesus came from God. And so what, what happened when he came? Well, we know the story of the massacre of the babies in mm. Bethlehem. We know the and story again. of being a refugee in it's Egypt. It's again. You know? mm -hmm. uh, Jesus, God, we believe, God does know what it's like, and God is always on the side of the sufferer. And where is the church? Once somebody said, you wrote, I was being interviewed on a radio program and, and this person said, okay, you wrote a book called Where is God When It Hurts? Can you just answer that question in one sentence? <laughs> <laughs> Jonas, we have the sentence in one word. One yeah, sentence. that's right. And I said, uh, oh, wow. Mm. I guess I would answer it with another question. Where is the church when it hurts? Because if we, we are, roles. yeah, we are God's representatives on earth. And if we are on the front lines, and I know, because I support them, there are Christian groups in the midst of Gaza and the West Bank and in the Sudan mm. and uh, Nigeria mm. who are reaching out to refugees and bringing food and, and also with refugees in Lebanon and Jordan from the, the Syrian wars. Uh, there are Christian groups at, who, who are getting prayers from Christians around the world, getting donations of supplies mm. and money. And if the church is there on the front lines, even among the least likely places, so for example, the Pakistan earthquake, you know, mm. they were surprised that so many Christian groups were the first ones on the ground, not to convert them, but to express this is, this is what we believe God feels. God cares about what you're going through. Mm. And as God's representative, we want to express that care. But also Christian, they made mistakes. Oh, yes. Was, uh, like <laughs> what happened in Haiti and uh, through history. And that's damaged the work of Christians today. Lots of people, like we talked in the first episode about, like any mission, it's conceived by, oh, the crusade, the colonialism, the yeah. bad Christian baggage. After this break, we'll come back to this question. Okay. Nakhr, Father Fasil, Thumanaud.